Audio was way up. Sorry, sorry. I I was actually sitting here like on time and then I got like a weird call that I had to take care of. And I had to run outside and do something really quick and so it's like I was on time, sort of, and then all of a sudden I wasn't. <laughs> uh, I feel like the game volume is high. Uh, all righty. Uh, right, right, okay. Yeah. I mean, I turned it down, so it should be okay now, hopefully. I got the gain on the on the volume. Or the gain on the game music high. That was a problem. It it's so wild. Like I don't I don't change this stuff. You know what I mean? Like the most I do is like when I'm sitting here and I'm doing some kind of work or doing some uh research or something, I if I have music on, I'll turn the computer noise up, the computer volume up, because that's my music. Everything else I leave the same, so it amazes me that I come here to stream. And then it's like, oh, well, the game volume is messed up. The the mic volume is messed up. Like, I don't touch it. <laughs> uh, like, the game volume I had a little bit higher because I was listening to the to this music as the background while I was getting everything ready. Trying to become Skynet has a mind of its own. Uh, but hello, Ryan. Uh, Dr. Gibbs, Trios, uh, uh, Ryan again, uh, Dragoon Knight, Show Spike. Uh, what is going on, everybody? Hopefully, everybody's having a relatively decent day uh my day has been uh, you know it's it's uh just the guy what's going on not a bad day just sort of a just sort of a day you know what i mean it's just sort of chugging along uh which is sometimes good you know it it could be worse it could be bad so it's the fact that it's not bad is usually a good thing uh <laughs> uh latimer bobo prismatic potato man uh, can't wait for the Metro Prime Trilogy on the Switch. Yes, I I actually am uh, excited for that too. Whenever it happens, <laughs> um, better than yesterday. Almost rid of this cold. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it was super. It's super nice here today. Uh, it's like 55, 60 degrees outside uh, Fahrenheit. So it's uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, what what is that? What is that? Like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. What is that Celsius? That's that's got to be like. It's got to be like 20 or something, right? I, I, I'm wild shot in the dark. I'm going to say that that's like 20. Uh, six, 
60 degrees. F to C. There we go. Uh, 15. 15. So it's it's uh it's 60 degrees outside, roughly uh, about 15 uh, for 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 the Celsius for the Celsiites. Um, Hello there. I watched a clip of that Danish star scream. Uh, do not remember the dub being that bad. Oh boy, Danish. Yeah, I did not re-add the Danish. Star I used to have Danish star scream on my video clips, and I removed it. And I, I, I think I removed it because I was worried that it was like insulting, and I didn't want it to be insulting. But it just makes me laugh. I, I think it has to do with the voice, with the voice, because he's like, <laughs> like that's how that's the voice that he makes, and it's like, wow, that's that's not Star Scream at all. <laughs> um, oh, that's summer over here. Yeah, well, Trios, that's the thing. It's it's normally it's winter here. It is winter, and I think uh, tomorrow and Friday, uh, uh, no, to, uh, Thursday, Friday. I think it's supposed to be like 35 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So uh, what's that, like five over there? Uh, it's supposed to be actually cold. And for some reason, it's not. Uh, this whole winter has been... We have not had snow, uh, any significant amount of snow, one time. Uh, not a single time. We had snow one day. It lasted a few hours at most. And it was like a dusting that was melted by the end of the day. So 30, 35 is one over there. Uh, 35? Yeah, so like so like one or two, I think for the next... I think I think tomorrow's supposed to be a little chilly, and then I think uh, Thursday and Friday, it's supposed to be like one or two. Uh, and then... But then it goes back up. And then for the foreseeable future, it's back to 50 degrees. And it's winter here. Uh, it's about high 50s here fairly comfortable the winter yeah the winter has been uh, to me it's been bad I don't like winter like this uh, I like cold uh, I don't like frigid I don't need it to be zero degrees but I like 30 40, 30 degrees is a, is a nice temperature um, you know you get bundled up it, it's nice and comfortable there's snow snow is very pretty to look at uh, snow is typically kind of good for the ground because it is, uh, it's water that that sits there, and then as it melts, it saturates the ground, and it's healthy for the ground. You know, the only thing that hey, Sean Wolf, um, the only thing that's good that I will say is good is that we've been getting a lot of rain lately. Uh, like next week, I think it's supposed to be like four straight days of uh, potential rain. Nothing torrential, just a lot of steady rain. But because of the way rain transitions into snow, like an inch of rain is like six inches of snow or some weird number like that. If all of the rain that we've had over the last month had been snow, we would constantly be buried in snow for the last three weeks. It would have been six feet of snow and then another foot of snow every other day. Like it would have been that bad, but it hasn't been. <laughs> It's hydrate bot for the ground. Uh, be sure to dress properly so that sudden changes in temperature uh, could leave people. Oh, it, it it very much is. It very much is. There's a lot of people that that are getting sick around, uh, and that's why the, te the temperatures. If I, I want to say that it's fluctuating, but it's kind of not. the The real fluctuation is at night it goes down to thirty, but then in the daytime it goes up to forty five and fifty again. Uh, I never had four days. Yeah, we've had, uh, we get it here. Where I live in the U.S. is uh, sort of a, a temperate, not temperate, uh, it's sort of like a halfway point. Um, so we get, a, we get a little bit of everything and sometimes extremes of those things. We have had bad winter storms where it's four feet of snow, which is probably not a lot for certain areas. Uh, but for us, it's it's not nothing we're equipped for. But then in the same year, we've had uh, seven days straight of 100 degree weather. You know, we get a little bit of everything up here. Hey, Rye, I walked for an hour and 40 minutes today. Fantastic. That's what I need to do. I I really need to get out there and start walking. I'm going to be honest. It was super it's super nice today. Like I said, uh, there was a there was like a one maybe like five percent part of me 
that was like, ooh, I could just I could cancel and stream tomorrow because I think tomorrow's supposed to start getting a little more chilly, uh, and then go walking or something. But I'm like, nah, I really kind of want to play Metroid Prime. Uh, I was gonna do something else. Uh, Trios knows. Uh, uh, Trio sent me a bunch of words in Icelandic, uh, and I was gonna try and pronounce them. But I want to play Metro Prime today. Later, I'll probably give some of them a try. I purposely did not look at any of them. Uh, like I didn't do any. I, I didn't type like type them into the translation so that I could try and hear them. I I didn't do any of that. Uh, right stuff has the Udon Entertainment. Oh, now you said Udon. Um, Art of Capcom books up. Interesting. I could do something help. Yeah, kind of, trios. Yeah, <laughs> I hate to say it, but I could do, I could do something healthy. But you know, video games. I mean, and that's the thing. It's it is already getting a little bit, uh, getting dark a little bit later. So like six o'clock, uh, when we're done the stream, it's actually still a little bit of light out. So I could go walking. And this is not like I don't live in like the the city. Where it's violent once the sun goes down or anything. Like, it's fine for me to walk around. It just, you know, I'm tired and, you know, I've been sitting streaming the whole day. <laughs> not the whole day, but. And no worries, none of them are inappropriate or dirty. Okay. Just like the Dutch with, 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 shimmel, shimmel <laughs> Um, yeah, game, games before sports. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm always like that. I just take my game with me on, on the exercise bike. Oh, okay. See, I like to walk outside. I like to, I have a bike, but I haven't ridden it in a while. And I, and I, I've got a lot of, gained a lot of weight. So I kind of feel bad about riding it. Like I feel bad for what I'm doing to the bike. Uh, but I like to walk. I'd like to walk occasionally jog, uh, uh especially outside. I love doing it outside. I liked, I, I'm going to say liked because I haven't been there long enough to, I, I can't really say like. But I liked going to the gym um, when the weather is relatively decent. What I can't stand with going to the gym is having to bundle up and then go to the gym and then strip everything off. You know, I I don't I like in the summer when I can go out in my T-shirt and shorts and sneakers and go get in my car, go to the gym and work out and then get in my car and leave or change my shirt at least and leave. Or even take a small bag with a, with a change of clothes. What I don't like is having to wear my hoodie, a long sleeve shirt, or just my hoodie. I can do short sleeve shirt, pants, and then my shorts underneath. And you know what I mean? Like I, I hate having to go to the gym and there's this whole production in order for me to to even get ready to get to do my workout. Close, but you got the you got you you got to pronounce the C H as a G. Sk, sk, see that? But that's like sk. Sk, that's like skimmel. Skimmel is what that sounds like to me, which just sounds wrong. <laughs> I miss those gyms that have a hot tub and sauna in the locker rooms. Skimmel. See, yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. Uh, the title screen music in the background makes this a super ominous discussion about exercise. <laughs> you know, because I'm just worried that they're gonna the workout's gonna drain the life out of me. <laughs> I exercise about one and a half hour, at least four times a week. It's what I used to do. Uh, it's the only thing that keeps me from being three times uh, my current one. See, that's what I used to do. And I just, I haven't gotten, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Part of it is lazy. Part of it is uh, why work out when I cannot work out. Uh, there is a big chunk of it that is uh, my mood uh, with, with everything that's been going on in the last uh, few months. I would say I, I would I'd probably say about five months five, about five six months uh, with everything that's been going on in my life uh, it is hard to be motivated it is hard to um, I'm usually uh, very often um, turn that very often I'm trying to uh, boost my mood, you know what I mean? Because of everything that's been going on, it's, and it's a constant. Uh, uh, what's going on? A lot of people are like, you know, oh well, you know, put it out of your mind and do something else funny. It's like it, I, I can sort of do that, but uh, what's going on in my life is a constant. It's always there because it, it is so dramatic, and uh, I'm mostly trying to boost my mood 
So, you know, when I when I go to work, I go to work, and when I come home, I want to do something relaxing. I want to I want to play some games, I want to stream, I want to watch some anime or something. So, it's hard for me to in my downtime convince myself to do something that I also kind of don't want to do. You know, because it's not relaxing. It's not relaxing for me to say, okay, well, now I'm going to go and go home or, or I'm going to change into my workout clothes and then I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm going to now do something for an hour, uh, hour and a half that uh, I'm not 100% on board with. And it's kind of hard. It's, it's difficult for me to get into the mentality of doing that. I know that I have to. I know that it is, it is an important thing for me to do. Uh, and I know that I will be happier when I do it. And that's the gag. When I have worked out and I have gotten in much better shape, I am usually pretty happy about that fact. I'm usually, I look at myself in the mirror and I'm proud of weight that I lose. Uh, I like the fact that my pants are, are not as snug. You know, I'm, I know that working out and getting more fit would lead to a, a positive mindset about it. It's just, I, I look at the road to get there and I'm just like, it's, it's just so tough. And as I say it as a joke. But I, I really am serious when I say it's hard for me to work out when I can just go home and not be working out, you know, and that's it's that's an addictive sort of feeling. The phlegm is part of the work. See, yeah, ladder, and that's why I can't I, I can't say it. Uh, can metros be used for light bulbs? If, if for any Doctor Who fans out there, there is an episode with these things called adipose. Oh my God, I, they would have free reign of my body for as long as I needed them to be there. Um, I mean, I'm unattractive anyway, so working out won't do much on that path. See, but that's the thing, Ryan. If you, uh, what, I, what I have learned, and I know I've said it before, you're not unattractive. You're just not your type. And that is one of the best things for me to have ever heard. Is like I look at myself now and it's like, okay, I, I'm probably not ugly. I just if I were if I were looking at me, I wouldn't want to date me. And it's like, okay, I get that. I it doesn't mean I'm ugly, it just means that I'm not my type. I get that. I like it. Although that just makes me want to have bigger boobs. Uh <laughs> well I work out for my health. I'm twenty seven as I get older, the young supple body the this young supple body won't be as easy. Yeah, right. As I got older, uh my metabolism just tanked. Uh, you want to lose weight? Try unemployment. Actually, don't. Yeah, don't. Don't. <laughs> hey, D.B. Stewart. Uh, the issue is taking that first step and establishing it as a routine. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I get you. I, I like to walk a long time uh, to put my mind at ease, but that doesn't work for me. Yeah, that's not that, That's not always effective. Uh, it is for some people. It's just not always for me. Yeah, it's tough, but well worth it. Um, that's the mindset of telling you, I'm telling y'all losing 40 pounds changed everything about me. It really does. It really does. It changes your outlook. It changes how you look at yourself. Uh, I could stand to lose a, about a hundred pounds myself. Um, I think a hundred pounds. I think if I could, I think if I could lose, um, if I could lose a hundred pounds of, of fat, uh, or at least turn some of that fat into muscle. Turn, turn it into muscle doesn't actually work that way, but that's what we say. Um, I think I'd be fine. Like I'd be fine if I lost fifty pounds and bulked up uh, muscle wise. I'd be totally okay with that. I like everything up here, it, it, from the chest up and from the waist down. I'm relatively happy. Uh, it's really just the midsection that I don't like. Just got back from the Sonic music, uh, Sonic movie. Also had a hamburger today. I mean, technically, it's the Sonic music too. Um, Ease book one and two. Uh, oh yeah, Ease book one and two is great. I'm not anyone's type. <laughs> <clears throat> I think the problem is that people were told that fitness should be easy and not hurt, uh, but you're physically forcibly changing your body. It's going to hurt. No, you know what, DB? I I was never given the impression that working out was easy i was never given that impression even when i first started working out years and years and years ago when i actually did lose a bunch of weight i was never given the impression that working out was easy what i was given the impression of was that working out can be fun 
And that simply working out makes your life better. And it doesn't. It, what it does is it puts you in a mindset where you can help make your own life better. And that, and I think that there are misconceptions about working out, but I don't think anybody, um, uh, but I mean the populace in general, look at planet. Fit. Yeah, it, it, you're right about that. DB, you, you're, you are right about that. You are right that, that they do make it seem like you go in and, Oh, I'm going to get on the treadmill. And it's like, no, but you got to actually put some real effort into it. Cause when I was working out and I did actually lose a bunch of weight, I was actually putting some real solid effort into it and you have to do that. But there's this there's this idea that if you work out and lose weight you're going to be happy and you're not if you work out and lose weight you're going to be healthier uh you're going to probably possibly and that's not even a guarantee you're going to possibly look at yourself physically and feel better about yourself but all of those things are a better mindset for you to then start making your life better you know there's people who worry about dating and they worry about, oh, well, nobody wants to date a, a chunky loser. So what you do is you work out and you lose your weight and you or, or you get into a, a, a position where you look at yourself and you don't feel like the chunky loser anymore. That doesn't automatically mean people are going to start showing up to date you. It still mean it, it just means that when you are when you go to make a move to date somebody or, or you go to jump out into the dating scene. Uh, you are going to feel a little bit better about yourself because now you're not going to be a chunky loser. Uh, be a regular one. Um, I like them big. I like them chunky. <laughs> what do you think of the ease games? I think the ease games are good. I just I haven't played too many of them. I played a bit of ease book one. Well, a chunk of ease book one and two, uh, and a decent chunk of three. Uh, but that's about it. I haven't played anything beyond that. It will hurt. You will wonder why you're even bothering. Absolutely. Um. But having the ability to go a couple flights of stairs without losing your breath, uh, being able to go a little further. Trios, I think the first time I left my job to go to the store, I had to run to the store really quick, which is like across the street and a little bit down because they have a big parking lot. Uh, I had to hurry. And one of the first times that I ran over there, got what I needed and ran back, got back to work and realized that I wasn't breathing heavy. Was one of the first times that I was like, wow, okay, I, I'm, I'm seeing it. I, I understand now. I see it doesn't seem like a big thing until you actually do something and you realize like, oh, wow, I'm I'm I am actually in better shape because until you do that stuff. Like somebody said, like you're only working out to work out. You know what I mean? Like you're doing you're you're doing 50 push-ups so that the next time you can do 51 push-ups and it feels pointless. It feels like a, a, like a pointless slog. Um, it's when you start actually doing things, it's when you realize you can walk further than you've ever walked before. It's when you have to move a piece of furniture in your house and you realize that you're okay. You know, you have to hold the sofa up while you open up the door and you're not struggling to do either one of those things. It's stuff like that. When you start to realize that, Oh, I, I kind of get it, but you do have to pay attention for that stuff. That's the thing you have to, you have to watch for those moments in your life when you realize, oh, I actually don't need somebody's help lifting up this television. What matters is your inner beauty and personality. That's not what they told me on Tinder. <laughs> also, I saw on Twitter that some people were bullying this woman. I follow. She's gastric bypass. It said, it said she cheated. Uh, they can all screw up. Gastric bypass is not a cheat unless you tell people that you did not have gastric bypass surgery. Either way, you should be happy that you that you are making the move that you need to make. But gastric bypass surgery is a it's it's circumvent in some situations it is circumventing the actual uh, effort uh, of losing weight and and you changing your mindset. Do some research. Tons and tons of people who have had gastric bypass surgery and lost a bunch of the weight, gain it back. Mo I think the vast majority of them gain it back because it's quick, but they don't change their mindset. They don't change the kind of foods they eat. They don't change their workout behavior 
most of the time when it starts to undo itself, they gain the weight back because they did not change the things that were making them that way in the first place. And I think a lot of them will realize that when they lose a bunch of weight, their life didn't automatically magically get better. They lost a bunch of weight and they were they were healthier, but their life didn't automatically get better. And then when it doesn't automatically get better, they feel like they did something wrong. They they go back to eating. They eat through the surgery is what they call it. You eat through the surgery and you undo all of the work that you did. Some of them relapse worse. I know uh, I know two people uh, who have had the surgery and then relapsed and got bigger than they were before. People often talk about how, how tough their life is. Uh, life is tough. It can be hard to change things. Uh, but the thing you have closest, it, you have... The closest to complete control over is your ability to change your body, uh, and that's why I suggest. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. If if you if you feel like your life is spiraling out of control and your weight is one of those things, your weight is the first thing that you that you have direct access to changing. Uh, same happened to me when I started to do martial arts. I went from being one of the people with the worst stamina to one of those that has the most. Yeah, uh, over the course of half a year. Uh. I like to think Greg talking wisdom is what Samus has as a podcast. <laughs> that's what that's what she's playing in her in her helmet. Uh, I had a teacher who got severe food poisoning, had to get bi gastric gastric bypass surgery, or could have killed her. Yeah, so there's there's uh, there's medical reasons for it. Absolutely. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, somebody had somebody hit 10k followers. Uh, Suave, uh, congratulations on 10k followers. Fantastic. Uh, life goals. Life goals. I'm, I'll I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, they don't learn the discipline of eating normally. And, and I, no, it, it's Suave, they don't learn the discipline of eating normally. I would say they don't learn how to create a new normal because the concept of eating normally, for them, overeating is eating normally. What they need to do is change that normal. Y'all should watch my 600 pound life. Yeah, I, I've watched a little bit of that and it, it's it's kind of depressing. Um, it, it's always really depressing. Uh, it's nice to see them uh, change their life sometimes, but it is a bit depressed. I think it's depressing to me because uh, whenever they talk about, I think it's one of those shows where they talk about like the, their life situation that got them into that into that in the first place. And every once in a while, something hits a little close to home and it's like, oh my God, like, like, I, I'm I'm there. I could be there, and I'm glad that I'm not yet. But I'm not actively doing anything to stop it. Uh, hey, Raw Dog, and hello everybody who I may have missed. Uh, let let us uh, before before uh, Twitch gets mad at us. Um, I was I, I had an idea for how to increase the picture quality, but I did not have the idea until like right before the stream started. So next week we will try and figure something out. Turbographic Mini releases March 16th. You're getting it. I I want it. Uh, I had every intention of getting it. I need to see how my money looks. Uh, but I do want it. Um, yeah, but I have not actually pre-ordered it yet. Uh, I'm actually having a very similar discussion with the co-worker at this very moment. Well, uh, DB, be sure to, to tune them into the stream. Uh, after we're done here and you can watch the first half hour and see if there are any good points there. Uh, what's the idea? Oh, I'm going to split the image quality. I'm going to split. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do it, if I have the right cable to do it. I'm going to send the S video and the audio into the capture card so that it's S video connection, like directly into the capture card. And then I'm going to send the composite image to the screen. So what I'm seeing is ugly, but what you're seeing is better looking. I'll wait to see how the emulation, how the emulation uh, before. I, I suspect that it's going to be good emulation. I really suspect it's going to be good emulation. All right. So let's, I'm going to reset it because we can't start the stream without the GameCube intro. Is this a Metro? Uh, 100%. Uh, no, Rami. Uh, I'm not, I'm not too concerned with 100% runs. That's, that's not really my thing. My thing is definitely, uh, more casual, more relaxed run. Just, you know, well, I'm going to try and get as many scans as I can. I'm going to find as many items as I can, but, uh, yeah, this is not a hundred percent run. 
Are you calling us pretty? Of course. Of course. You're all, you're all, no, you're all beautiful. And that's what matters. Pretty, pretty is, uh, pretty is an external aspect. Uh, beautiful is an internal aspect. And as far as I know, uh, you are all beautiful. You are beautiful, no matter what they say. Which always is, is, is bad, right? Like, I am beautiful, no matter what they say. Are they saying you're not beautiful? That sucks. Don't talk to them. We actually talk about fitness a lot. Me and him are both uh, big into fitness, so we talk about concepts like manipulation. Uh, give me, give me, give me some of this manipulation. Here we go. Fendra. Yeah, why did I, I? I wrote Fendrana drifts. I tweeted out that I was gonna start streaming, and I wrote Fendrana drifts, and it looked like it was wrong. All right, I want to see something here. Okay, so I found my. I found my cable. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it, but I wonder if I can change to the fusion suit in a in a file that's already started. Bot alert! Uh, GameCube, good. That might work, but if the cable you're using isn't of high quality, which it's not, um. Uh, you could end up sending composite video through the yellow and S video jack. Yeah, I don't know. I need to give it a try. Uh, particularly in American culture, the thought that you shouldn't deprive yourself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, life was short, so 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 eat the whole cake. Uh, that sort of that sort of mentality. Is that what you mean? Yeah. See, I don't need that. <clears throat> oh, wait. Did someone set a fire emblem? Uh, all right, so there are two <clears throat> two doors that I think I can access. Three doors. Uh, so how have you been? Ah, uh, getting by, getting by, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Did someone say cake? You could turn on the fusion suit at any time because the day after I tried it recently, it was turned. Okay, okay. Don't save things. Consume. Consume them now. Well, yeah, I, there's that mentality. As in, for instance, uh, we talk about how to manipulate your exercise and nutrition so that you're burning way more fat and energy. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, DB, I, I, what I've heard before was that uh, there are people who, like, you go to your workout and you you start, and this is super scientific. I don't, I don't know the science behind it, but there's the idea that um, if you go to your workout and you start your workout uh, 20 minutes of, of being on the treadmill, like you, you do a 20-minute run on the treadmill or something, uh, and then you go and you do a muscle workout or something like that, what you should actually do is do it the other way around. You should go and you should do do some stretches and stuff and then do your muscle workout. And then when your body burns all of like a certain certain thing, like like I said, it's super. I don't remember all the super technical terms. But then when your body burns the, soup, the, the thing, then you go to the treadmill. And then the, when you burn the la on the last 20 minutes, your body is burning more fat for energy or something like I, I remember hearing that favorite Simpsons season that's a tough I would need to look at all of the episodes um I know season eight was was phenomenal I remember there being a lot of great stuff in season eight I would yeah I would need to look at uh some of the best episodes because i mean stuff like uh this the springfield with, with the gambling was it's amazing you're actually pretty close to, yeah see that db and, and that's and it's funny because i do that i do it the other way around where i would go and i'd run first and then do my work my, my muscle workout and then when i was looking up uh there was something like no 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 you should do it the other way around you warm up stress and that's one thing that i always hated i've always heard people say oh uh you stretching doesn't do anything uh i've actually heard people say like oh no stretching is actually is, is irrelevant and i'm like ah you know i i've had workouts when i stretched and when i didn't stretch and i can tell you i did like it more when i stretched i felt a little bit more loose when i stretched 
All right. Um, yeah, I've heard people say that. Like, oh, stretching doesn't really do do anything. I'm like, oh, well, you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. How about that? Uh, what the hell am I missing? Mario questioning. Oh, did it, ever watched the video? I didn't watch the whole video, Jerf. I actually did not watch the whole video. I just, I found that clip and I thought that that clip was hilarious. Uh, there's, okay, so there's the thing up there, there's the thing up there, and there's the thing up there. Okay. Because uh, I can't go down here, right? Or can I? Oh, I can. Boop, 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 boop. The door directly above has been unlocked. Fantastic. Thursday's my day off. Uh, are you doing Smash? Probably not. I don't think I'll be doing Smash. <clears throat> uh, if, if it's going to be anything, it, it might be, um, hey, Mr. Sonic, uh, uh, Mario Kart. Maybe Mario Kart. Um, uh, I feel like I'm missing something, right? I mean, obviously I'm missing something because I don't know where I'm going. Uh, you see really silhouette, time to leave Fendrana Drifts. This way? Oh, I'm so lost. Does not read his own Discord confirmed. <laughs> I mean, not all the time. You know, I, I got stuff to do. Now that no one is doing this now, can I start adding you? Uh, or <laughs> no, I don't miss it. I don't miss it. I mean, I'll take the nickels. Oh, there we go. See, I have a, I have a hard time. Oh, you! Dick. I have a hard time seeing everything. Yeah, and this is sort of my problem, uh, Ryan. This has always been my problem with 3D games: is that I, I notoriously have a hard time seeing everything. It's like an embarrassing shortcoming, but it is what it is. I'll just, rather than try and, oh, come on. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I got to cheat your message at this point to the science of things. Uh, I, I literally read some of the journal. Uh, that's okay. I, I don't, I don't want to get too far into it. I think that's what happens sometimes. Talk about good I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a freebie. I, I was talking through the goddess. So I'm gonna give you a freebie. I know, I know you had to do it to him, uh, but you didn't have to do it to him. <laughs> I need my life. Pay attention to me. Let's be sad together. All right. Uh, this is this the the thingies, right? I gotta shoot them in the ass. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, 
Every Tuesday we get a two in one. <laughs> yeah. No, only when I only when I blab on through Gonzalez. I don't I don't want anybody to spend their points and not get what they paid for. Why does no one like me? I, 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 Indigo, if you uh, if you you add a you add a zero on the back end of that, and I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh my God. See, I'm not paying attention. There we go. If you listen very close, you can hear items. The bits underneath their shells are gross. Uh, it's, uh, it's like what's beneath the fingernail. Yeah, but you know what? As long as there's bits, <laughs> as long as they, as long as they donate those bits, I'll shoot their shells however they want. I'm not crazy, right? I can hear the items that are nearby. Yeah, because it's up there. Okay. Another Gonzalez! <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I think I screwed that up. Yeah, I screwed that up. Okay. Assault Greg would like to tell you. Hey, I, I can, uh, uh, Greg, where's that clip from? Um, if you just type in Chrono Trigger o anime uh, on YouTube, it'll come up. It's like a 15 minute video. Make sure to get the ice streak back. Uh, I got the things out. Oh no, I didn't get, um, hold on. I got those. I think I got those. Yeah, I got these. Um, yeah, let me make sure. Hold on. Uh, Prismatic, it's not even that far into the game. Literally, start the game and go to the festival and you'll see exactly what it is. Yeah, it's not that far into the game. Into Chrono Trigger. I could, we'll probably do that one day. Like, we'll probably set it up so that I could show you. Uh, oh, I didn't get this. Ice Burrower. Gotcha. Everyone pay attention to me and my problems. I'm the source of my own issues. Okay. <laughs> now, Ryan, uh, uh, he's there's a reason for that. It's okay. Uh, I get why he's doing it. I'll explain that one uh, to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, these things. Oh, the Flicker Bats is what I got. Flicker Bats is what I got. Uh, do you know which version is considered better, SNES or DS? The DS. Uh, the DS version is the um, is the ultimate version of Chrono Trigger, uh, without a doubt. Without it's it's not even it's not even close. What little there is wrong with that game to me, rap. Oh my god. Uh, what little there is wrong with that game, the DS fixes. It's, it's perfect. Did you make sure, or are they coming up? I think they're coming up. I don't think I got them yet. I don't think I saw anything like that. Okay, close the door. Good. Is this a, you watch, and you, you watch, you tell you, you have five dollars? Oh my God, I, I hated that video. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, what? Okay, all right, let's. Oh, you jerk. Oh, damn it. No, sorry. That's a that's a purple door. We don't need that. Uh, we go this way. Uh, these stupid things. Oh, wait, did I get those? Yeah. Uh -huh. So oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I I. There was a little bit of me that was like, oh, maybe I should go and see this person. I, I didn't want to even give her the 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 click. Yeah, I I couldn't even give somebody like that the click. Oh, oh, oh. jerk! Who's gonna let you live? Oh, is this this is one of those? Yeah, okay. Are you mocking me? This is my normal voice. Whoa, Whoa shaky, shaky. Earth is quaky. Oh, Land of Trios have a good one. Uh, try Chrono Trigger a couple times while the game is great. Never really fan of the active time battle system. I prefer turn based. I think you could you can turn set it to wait. I usually set it to wait. I know that people hate that. I set it to wait just so that I have time uh, to pick my moves because I, I I don't like that pressure. I don't I, I like turn based also, so I don't like that pressure. So when my turn comes up, I click into a menu and I decide what I'm gonna do. Someone built those for no reason. They're still working, is what I'm amazed at. I feel like it's not you, Latimer. Believe me. So Samus is the glowy thing in the morph ball. Basically, yeah. I, I think it converts her body to energy. I think that. I think that's how they explain it. I don't think there's an item here, right? Woo! Wee! Better than Tony Hawk 5. She was a skater girl, a sexy skater girl. She killed the Mad Troys ten times before. I don't know. <laughs> well, no, because then outside the suit, she's still Samus. Do a flip. Oh, all the way back. If you're a Tony Hawk, you'd have clipped through the floor by now. <laughs> oh, is there a lore in there? Okay, hold on. Oh my god! Okay. Uh, in where the boost ball was? Hey, J Punks! Is it in where the boost ball was? Oh, wait, is it down here? Here, here we go, here we go. Haha, -ha, see, I like, I vaguely remember things. <laughs> Okay. Can't destroy those yet. Uh, Metroid Hawk of Pro Pinball. <laughs> oh. Okay. Meow. Whoosh. Why is she like 
moving away from the... Okay, there was a... Oh wait, uh, would you rather, without worrying about the calories or ramifications, have one day just eating just the fattiest foods or drinking the most uh, luxurious? Um, eating the fattiest foods. Uh, I, I, I find eating more satisfying than drinking, to me. Yeah. Yeah, eating the fattiest foods. Which would probably just, con like, it would probably just consist of, like, double cheese, double dough pizzas or something. That's all it would really be. Always feels better than eating to me. Uh, oh, hold on. Hey, wasn't this an ad for Game of Thrones? What is your ideal ideal Samus personality when she's not on the job? Um, relax. Uh. uh not doing too much like like normal life to me um you know hang out maybe maybe do a, an activity once in a while but ultimately i feel like she would be just super chill because when she's on the job so much can go wrong so fast so i feel like she would be just all right we're you know we're cool you know just i'm just gonna just gonna take it easy a little bit I don't think I can get up there yet. So I think I just have to go back this way. I have to go all the way back through, uh, through what's it called? Norfair hot place. Straight up drink and romance. Like, like just sit around. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, t like, T-shirt and underwear, uh, you know, feed her baby Metroid pet. You, you just do stuff around the house. Like that to me is Samus because I don't. When you have when you have characters like this, hey, Hero Haru. When you have characters like this, who their life is so much uh, st stress and struggle. When they're when there's downtime, I feel like they don't want to do things like people always talk about characters like this and like, oh, I bet they're you know go mountain climbing and stuff uh, when they're done, like you know exciting. I feel like they would not want that kind of life all the time. If Samus owns a pet, what would it be? Um, a cat. I I find Samus to be a cat person again because in downtime. It's it's like relaxation time. Oh boy, that was my own fault. That was dumb. Samus would be a bar. See, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know that she would be. I don't, I don't feel like she would be. <laughs> what does she spend her money on? Uh, new ships. Probably keeps people at arms left to keep them safe. Yeah, exactly. And and one of the ways that she does that is she doesn't go out. You know, it's a sad life. Nobody's nobody's denying that it's a sad life. I know Samus is hot, but don't make her that hot. That's where I came from. I think that's where I can Go. I I think I can go that way. Let's. What the hell? Wow. 
My controls were like stuck. Oh, ow. Oh. Okay, alright, alright, let's let's oh my god, I'm gonna get killed! I have more health? What the hell is this? Journey to Silius? Some health! I'm, I think I'm in the wrong door. Uh, no, no, I'm in the right door. She just listens to the Metroid title music over and over again. Oh, no, wait. This was... What was here that I couldn't... I swear I didn't go this way for a reason. Oh wait, I can't do that. So everyone hates Adam. I I didn't hate Adam. I I don't know. I liked Adam. I thought Adam was okay. This is kind of a pain in the ass, but What? Oh, come on. You, you did that. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Mm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe no, to your no, newsletter. No, 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 no. Night 39, thank you so much for the follow. Very much appreciate it. I cannot kill that thing. I can't risk going over there and having it even freaking touch me. I have one sad, lonely health. Oh my god. Oh. I don't know where anything is. Did I get boxes or something? I can't, I can't have anything touch me. I have to play it like super duper safe. Destroy it. Give me health. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, it did give me health. Okay. Oh. All right, all right. I don't think I can get hurt here. I don't think that there's flame jets or anything. Uh, so I think I can get through this just fine. Okay. Just don't fall into the lava. Okay. Right, there's no boxes. Oh my god. Get in the room. Oh my god, is this a safe? Is it, is it at least boxes or something? Nothing. I feel like Yukon Cornelius. Nothing. Uh... Oh my god. Magmores always drop 50, uh, but at a slight delay. Well, that was like a 20. Oh man. Uh, if I could, if you could, I'd tell uh, Nitro, absolutely. That's always my first thought. Is like, oh, I make a safe state. Nope. I'm, I'm like afraid to leave. I'm afraid to leave the room. Oh, oh, give me health. Oh, there we go. Okay, Zoomer. I got these, right? Help! And I... Why do I think there's something down here? Ha ah, ha! Because there is! I scrap. I don't know. I... I... 
I don't know. I there were certain things that other M tried to do, and I appreciate the attempt, but I just don't think it landed very well. Oh. I know something's gonna come out. Just, just come out of the ground, because I know it's gonna happen. Oh, okay. We're we're a lot more comfortable now. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get it. Hey, real edgy. -da 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 -da. Do -do 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 -do. All right. How was that? Suave, have a good one. Thank you for stopping in. Oh, there we go. Hi. Oh, hi. See, it's Johnny's tweet. Which one? The one, the Mortal Kombat tweet, or did he just tweet something else? Oh wait. Oh my God. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Cause he's with uh hold on let's see here now now I'm all curious okay <laughs> that's I'll be honest uh that's kind of what I thought was happening uh wait we slow -mo? uh we shouldn't be we shouldn't be no Johnny is with um Justin Silverman just is that his name um, he's, he's on AVGN, like he's always in, in the movie reviews and stuff. Uh, I think John's hanging out with him today. So I, I think a lot of people thought that it was for AVGN or something. So John just confirmed that it's not for an AVGN video. Okay, stop moving. There you go. Yeah. I, I don't... I'm not doing anything and it moves itself over. I hate that. Why is it doing that? I can't stand it. James, Johnny, and Greg are my favorite content creator. Well, let's uh, may maybe maybe we'll all three be in a video someday. <laughs> I'm I'm a long way from that. <laughs> with a sub uh thank you so so much dragon knight very very much appreciate that thank you for the 17 months in a row very very much appreciate that hey how was your weekend uh my weekend was okay it was kind of kind of slow and dull uh but i think i needed that i think i needed a, a slow dull weekend hey i know where we are Give me a moment. Audio is kind of crap. You got to refresh. 
Had to make sure I renewed that. Thank you very much for that. I very much appreciate that, as always. Uh, what do we got? High jump. High jump. Shooters like this aren't popular. Well, I don't think, uh, UAC, I don't think Metroid was super duper popular in Japan. <clears throat> space jump like a moon. Space jump, space jump. There we go. Oh my god, space jump. Double jump is the most uh, mandatory feeling item in a game. Oh my god, let's heal. <clears throat> the less that is that, the less that about Doug, the better. Uh, seems like a cool dude to uh, okay, to grab a beer with. Doug seems like someone I want to hit with beer bottle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't read the first part, so when I saw uh, the less said about Doug, the better. All I thought was like uh, Doug from the old Nickelodeon show. What's that song? Sounds catchy. Uh, so let's see. Where am I going? Uh, going? Uh -oh. Disney Doug. Nickelodeon Doug. Doug was Nickelodeon first. It aired at the same time. It premiered around the same time with uh, uh, Ren and Stimpy. And Rugrats. Predator activity increase. Predator inc predator increase in Pendrana region. Okay. That looks like that looks like way of being territory. Um, I don't think I could do. I can't do anything here, right? Can I? Here. Son of a it just took off. <laughs> it just it just left. picture being in a James video I can picture uh, movie reviews uh, I like I like when James does the when they do the movie reviews so I, I would definitely uh, be into being in one of those he did the Ernest movies uh, it, it kind of bothered me that he did uh, the Ernest like Ernest scared stupid and goes and uh, goes to jail and stuff which I love those movies I thought that those movies were great they were they were dumb but that was sort of the point but uh, he didn't do the very first one which which irritated me that he didn't do the first one, which is Ernest goes to camp. <clears throat> and I, I I think I asked him. I asked him at uh at Gifts for Gamers, which is an event that everybody was at. And I said and I shook his hand and I was like, you you didn't do uh Ernest goes to camp. And uh he he asked like, oh yeah yeah, it, 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 was that your favorite? I was like, well it was it was my favorite, but it was also like the first one. Uh, so I was just I was wondering if they were gonna. I think he said they're gonna do it later. Um, but yeah, it, it bothered me that like that movie wasn't done, and that's the first one. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I used to be a huge Ernest fan. I love Ernest. I like uh, Jim Varney. Jim Varney was the guy that played Ernest, uh, and I I thought he was hilarious. Uh, one of my favorite favorite movies with him was um, uh, the Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, that, that's such a funny movie uh, and what a great presentation of uh, his character from him <clears throat> wasn't a fan of James recent blu-ray video 
Yeah, I, I was not a huge fan of that video. He talked about he ragged on Blu-rays. Uh, he made valid points, but it was one of those things where the DVDs still exist. You know, so there's no reason to not get the DVDs. Oh, this is the, the artifact place, right? Yeah, there's there's like no point in me being here. As the game decides to yeah, there's no point in me in here. Um what about Super Dave? Oh my god, Super Dave. <clears throat> I didn't watch the Blu-ray for what he said. Um, he he complained about some stuff that was valid. Uh, he talks about how uh, a lot of Blu-rays uh, they they don't seem to have as many special features. The menus aren't as interesting. Uh, like a, a lot of it was nitpicking. A lot of it felt like nitpicking. It was not incorrect stuff, but a lot of it did feel like nitpicking. Uh, how long before you or John bump into Jim Sterling? Said Jim Sterling moved to Philadelphia. Really? Can't pick my audio now. Oh, uh, have a good one, uh, Jim. Sorry, I'm sorry that it's not working out for you. Um, I'm trying to think of what the best way. Is. Okay, so not that way. Uh, I guess that way, right? Yeah. Okay. That way. Yes. Um, yeah, uh, Ryan, watch it. Watch it, and you'll you'll. I, I think you'll be annoyed. I honestly do think you'll be kind of annoyed at it. But the things that he says are not incorrect. It just, like I said, it feels a lot like nitpicking. Like, okay, well, I mean, that's not really an important thing, but uh, it does feel like nitpicking. And I think the 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 biggest problem for me is just that um, you can still buy DVDs. You know what I mean? Like, that's always a big issue where it's like, oh, this thing ruined this thing or whatever. Uh, and it's like, you can still go buy the DVD. It's just they do, they they have kind of a little lax on, like, the special features and stuff. Uh, the one thing that I hate about Blu-rays, because there is something that I hate about Blu-rays. I can't stand it. Uh, and they don't do it as much anymore. They, there, are, there are a lot of things that are not doing it as much. Blu-rays fit a lot of information. So why am I, why for a while was I buying seasons or whole shows and it was still coming on four Blu-rays? Like, I feel, I, I strongly suspect that I can get all the episodes of um, Devil is a Part-Timer. Devil is a Part-Timer is like a 13, I think it was a 13 episode series. Why in the Blu-ray set is there like three Blu-rays? I feel like you could get all of those onto one Blu-ray. That's the thing that always bothered me about Blu-rays. Like, I don't understand why, why we're, why I need to buy a set of nine Blu-rays in order to get nine movies. I'm pretty sure you can fit a couple of movies on one Blu-ray. Never seen the idle animation. Oh, the the when she flips the she flips the panel. Is that what you mean? Yes, compression. Most season one, most one season anime shows are on two discs for that reason. Uh, my issue is like eight or nine, uh, eight or eight or nine episodes on disc one, and like, like I and Ryan, if you're gonna put special features, put everything on. If put 10, 12 episodes. You know, put all episodes. If you got like a thirteen episode season, I strongly suspect you could fit them all on one disc and then put the special features on another disc. Depends on the length of the movie, but yeah, I I really don't, and that's the thing. I don't think every movie has to have the special features. You know, put the special features on a separate disc. I prefer that. I actually prefer putting all the because sometimes I want to watch all the special features. I want to watch all of the interviews. I want to watch all of the outtakes and stuff. I want to watch all of that in one lump, one chunk. Uh, I don't want to put this disc in that has this movie with these outtakes, and then this other disc in with this other movie with these interviews. Like just. Put it all into one thing. Uh, right. Wait, hold on.
to move these there for oh move move there move there for his professional side game does each beam have a different animation i don't know uh i don't remember and the last couple of times i played this which were very long ago were on the wii and i don't know what the wii changes uh when it comes to some of that stuff <laughs> All right, but that's it. But like, like, there's there's one thing that he mentions where, um, oh my god, did the game just lock up on me? I definitely think the game just locked up on me. Oh my god, it definitely just locked up on me. Wow, I don't. Wow. Oh boy. Oh my god, it's not even resetting. Wow. I never had that happen before. Oh, you know why it happened? I'll tell you why it happened. That's why. Yeah, I saved at the ship. Um, yeah, I saved at the ship, so that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> it's grown so much that it's affecting the game. Yeah, Samus, Samus isn't even just destroying planets anymore. Whole systems are not working. <laughs> Uh, why did the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition uh, come on multiple Blu-rays? Uh, like swapping out discs is like a PS1 game. Uh, I mean, those Lord of the Rings uh, uh, Extended Editions were super long. I actually didn't like the first Extended Edition because they cut out one of my favorite parts of the movie, which is uh, when, when they go to the forest. It's been so long since I watched Lord of the Rings. Uh, when they go to the forest. And Gimli's talking about how like uh, nothing's gonna sneak up on them. He's like, I have the eyes of a, uh, the eyes of a, of a hawk, and uh, like he says that stuff. And then all of a sudden, there's an arrow pointing at him. Uh, so the the arrow's pointing at him, and he, he says something. He's like, uh, these ones are perilous. We should go back. And then he looks at the arrow. Like something about the way he looks at the arrow, like it just makes me laugh. And they cut a chunk of that out. The last game. Oh, wait. The last GameCube is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. E So yeah, I saved right at the ship, so it, it we're not that far away. <laughs> yeah, chill spike, but I don't want to say the second part. <laughs> uh, up here, I know. Greg ASMR would be lovely. I keep wanting to. I keep thinking about. It. I keep thinking about uh, rearranging my my little camera. Uh, I'm, I'm, I keep wanting to uh, set it into a top-down mode. Shoulder pads? No, you gotta, bruh, bruh, you can't say hut, hut, hut and not say the first part. Uh, what am I thinking of? If, if When you say hut, 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 what's the first part that, that you should say before that? Come on, as a retro gamer, what would I add to that? They'll still be working game cubes long after the earth is destroyed. Uh, where the hell am I going? Okay, where? Oh, oh. Okay. I'm going this way, right? Right, I'm going to the elevator. No. Oh. First part is green 52. 
No, it is from Tecmo Super Bowl. And it is ready down. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You're talking about the NES football game. Yeah, it's a uh, Tecmo Super Bowl. Uh, which I think is the better one. There's Tecmo Bowl and then there's Tecmo Super Bowl. I think Tecmo Super Bowl, specifically on the Super Nintendo, was the superior version. But everybody thinks it's the and it's locking up on me again. It locked up in the exact same spot. What is happening? Oh my god. Why is that happening? Is the it better not be scratches the is a day one game. No, there's no scratches on it. Oh my god. What is happening? Do I even have another game key? I have my Wii. Is it it's not It's not rotting through. Everything looks super fine. Clean the lens, maybe? I, I Could it be the system? Could it be the system? <laughs> Try turning it off and on again. I mean, technically, yes. Your technical luck is bafflingly low. It's just weird that it would be the same exact spot. If it was the if it was the system, I feel like it would be different spots. Let me take a look. Here, hold on. Oh, I know we'll do. Hold on, hold on. I got it. I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, it's why is the wire so short on this damn camera hang on I'm going to try and get the camera uh, around here hold on AC cable. Uh, no, no, no. It wouldn't be the AC cable because the system wouldn't turn on. My question for the God. Why? Hmm. Hmm. It's going to focus like crap if it even focuses at all. There we go. Well, I don't know. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Input the Hercules disappointed. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't have it. Hold on. I don't have it. Uh layered over the camera uh, 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 uh. Uh, I think I have that camera on top so I can't really gently wipe down the disc with a soft cloth to see if that helps at all Hold on, hold on. Can we like? Yeah, like there's there's nothing there. It's it's fine. All right. Ah. What happened? 
All right. The good news is I moved my camera wire around, so I have better access to it. So as Metro spin on it. Uh, I don't want to. I don't have a soft cloth to like uh, wipe it down. I don't want to use my T-shirt. Um. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I don't. Wow, I don't have like a microfiber cloth. Uh, why? Oh, you know what? I I do have a microfiber cloth, but it's not here. It's up to clean it with your soft hair. Uh, uh, hey, cream. Uh, uh, here we go. Oh my god, could you imagine if this works? Yeah, just nice and gentle, nice and gentle. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there we go. There, I clean the laser. My hair, my hair will fix it all. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it, and I swear, I swear, if that worked, I'll, I'll lose my mind. I have a cloth. Hold this to the screen. <laughs> uh, the wire. Not the show. I've never seen that show. Okay. Usually a game consistently freezing at the same spot means something about that part of the disc is slightly smudged or scratched and that the system isn't reading it correct. Yeah, that's why I feel like it's the disc. I feel like it was, if it was the system, it would just randomly happen at different spots. But the fact that it happened at the same exact spot uh, is is suspicious to me. Uh, I just won $10 from a scratch ticket. Ooh, congratulations. That's all profit. <laughs> well, not really because you had to buy the ticket. Uh, had issues with freezing in certain areas. Yeah, this is an original. I mean, this is an original from day one that the damn game came out. <laughs> All right, so let's let's see if my if my magic hair uh, did any did any good here, or let's see if my hair is magic. All right, I know incoming scan data. I know. Worst kind of doors, I'll get up and I'll go and I'll get a cloth and uh, Windex. Uh, put a little Windex on it. Stonks. Pre-order bonus now with more game crashes. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Here, that's the secret. I was, uh, I, I had full health. Uh, we, we can't, we can't have that. Here we go. That's the secret. I fixed it. All right, here we go. Want your game to not crash? $15 DLC. If it doesn't work, I'll, I'll go and get a paper towel uh, or like a, like a toilet paper. Worked! My hair fixed it! Oh my god! I'm magical. Oh my god, my, 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 uh, 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 uh luscious locks of technical goodness. Um, yes, I'm, I'm like, I'm like technical Samson. I'm Samsung. <laughs> uh, do I have a I don't have I don't have like a praise um I don't have like a praise button. Oh, you know what I have? I have a button that shows me how amazed I am. Uh uh how blown away. Oh my god, I'm blown away. Or drunk. <laughs> my hair has magical restorative properties. Oh, Oh, mighty hair, uh, please tell me, art thou the magical being that I suspect uh, we are? Uh, the answer are? is no. 
The hair has spoken. Oh, <laughs> uh, and it's good dinosaur time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My hair is like <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Hold on. I hit that button. Damn it. Another two foot. I hit the button wrong. My Donate your hair to science. I maybe there. This is Metroid. Magical. You're now second to Entrapta for coolest hair. I like Entrapta. I, I like that. That's a that's a great series, by the way. Uh, Entrapta is a is a reference to. The um, the Shira reboot uh, on or remake, I should say, on Netflix. Uh, that's actually a very good show. <clears throat> Since you live in the northeast, northeast, uh, do you call long sandwiches hoagies or subs? Um, hoagies. Uh, where where we live, it's hoagies, but uh, I'm not a fan of them. But uh, yeah, it, it's hoagies. Uh, Wawa has every year they do during the summer. Uh, they have hoagie fest. Uh, hoagie fest is here again. The summer is in full. Oh my god! Now that looks gross. So now that we know, Grace hair is enchanted with healing powers. Uh, can you do something about my back? Um, I mean, probably, but. Uh, it might violate TOS, and quite frankly, uh, it might be, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, oh, uh, unethical. It might be unethical for me to uh, heal you with my hair. Oh my god, stop. Stop. Hit. No, stop moving away from the damn thing. There. Uh, we have that with Wawa in Florida. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a Wawa thing. It's not like a regional, like we only have it here. All Wawas have, the, it's uh, every summer it's Hoagie Fest. And then I think the Hoagies are like dirt cheap or something. Uh, you can't get that yet, right? You can't get the... I don't think you can get that yet. I think you need the grapple beam for that. Sell samples of your magic hair? No way! If you're if you're good at something, never give it never never give it away for free. I, I didn't do anything. Uh, where am I headed? Where am I going? I have no idea where I'm going. Um. <laughs> Am I going the long way around? Where am I supposed to be going? Am I going to Fendrana Drifts again? Um, I completely forgot. We, we were so messed up. Yeah, I'm going to Fendrana Drifts. Okay, which I have to go through the Magmore Caverns to get to. Um, that's talent over where this, it's where I probably came from. Uh, not going there, not going there. I this is a loop back around. I keep thinking it's the wrong way. Uh, so I have to go this way. Okay, jump. Okay. Wawa allegedly is the name of a convenience store in the west coast, in the east coast. Uh, all we know is it's not, but we all know it's not actually a real thing. 
Oh, it's real and it's spectacular. Oh, so uh, Pokemon Home is a thing now. How is everybody liking Pokemon Home? I feel like that's a that's a dangerous question to ask, but yeah, next goal is the wave me. There's a power up. Somewhere. No, 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 get up. It's bank, but slightly more spiffy looking. Hey, Lady Foxheart, what is happening? Whoosh. Uh, okay. I think I can do this now. Huh? Oh, okay, okay. No, get up there. Okay, all right. Uh, honestly, aside from New Horizon, I'm looking forward to Ori and the Blind For or, and Ori and the Will of the Wisp. Never played the Ori game. Uh, I've had people tell me that Ori and the Blind Forest is amazing. Uh, never played it. Playing Final Fantasy VI, chill out. Not sure what else to do with my life. Uh, Final Fantasy VI is life. Uh, you're doing it. You're already doing it correctly. <laughs> I mean, you can draw. There's always art. Uh, I almost falling asleep, so I better go do that. Uh, thanks for the stream, everyone. Uh, thank you, Just the Guy. I'm sorry that I put you to sleep. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm boring. Uh, okay. Here. You went through all that trouble for a missile expansion. But it'll help. I'll be happy when I've got those five missiles. Final Fantasy VI is life. Time to spend it right. Time to spend it right using X-Zone and getting all of Cyan's powers. Learning all of Saban's moves. Using Bum Rush over and over again. <laughs> yeah, what's that? What's the, the hard mod? Like Brave Brave New World? Is that what it's called? Yeah, going through all that trouble for a missile expansion, that's a life lesson. It teaches you. It teaches you that uh, not every goal is, is going to be the pot of gold. Uh, nothing over here. Oh, what? Uh, you can get 101% in this game, or was that a different one? I think it's this one. Um, because this is the this is the 101 copy of the game. So pe I think people were telling me that you can do that. Ignore that. I do not believe so. I be Indigo, I do not believe we're going to ignore that. I want to know uh, what that is about. And I suspect that you are trying to recreate the situation that created Freakazoid. And I want to know more about it. <laughs> see? See? That's exactly what happened to Freakazoid. Oh, oh, okay. Oh! Pff. You will not convince me otherwise. Apparently, the cute girl's gonna be getting Doom Eternal as well. I like that picture with Isabel buying a copy of Doom Eternal. Like she's got the bag of bells on the counter. 
And it's like, one copy of Doom Eternal, please. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, that didn't do it. Trying to discover the anti life equation. The answer's four. No, 42. 42. Gotta go grab food back later. Oh. Whoosh. I'm now I'm like super nervous that the uh that everything's gonna lock up on me. Go back. I get well I'm getting that health tank. Uh there's a health tank here. I'm getting the health tank. Yeah, I will I have to go back through there anyway to get the elevator. Uh yeah, that that's why I wasn't bothering now. Knowing me, I'm going to run into something that's going to take a bunch of health, and I'm going to think, like, oh, I probably should have gotten that. Yeah, okay. What? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Chill, uh, this is, a uh, lo-fi Metroid beats to, uh, study and hunt Ridley too. You know, it's it makes me sad that Doom Guy gets all the he gets all the knowledge uh, or the uh, credit for like raging. And if you ever played the game one on the PS one, uh, rage was literally that guy's special power. Like, <laughs> so shame. I, I'm always bummed out that one wasn't a more popular game because it was it was it was dumb fun. Like it was just it was such. Just explosions and and blowing stuff up, fun. But it was hard too, and I wonder if that's part of it. I wouldn't mind seeing one with a uh, like a like a high resolution version, just to see what it would do, uh, what it would look, what the game would look like. Uh, what's? I feel like I'm I'm taking the long road here. Uh, that's where I'm going, right? Yeah, there we go. I thought Doom One was popular. Doom One was popular. Doom One, Doom One was was super popular. Oh my God, that was if Doom wouldn't have gotten much further if it wasn't for that. Whoa! Back. Uh, sorry, busy packing for the plane. Packing for the plane. I think Doom One isn't as popular because of how good Doom Two was. Yeah, I Doom One was super. I mean, if the if a new one comes out and it's more popular, yeah. But when Doom One was out, when it was the game that was out, it was ridiculously popular. What are you aiming down for? I'm locking into something, and it's and it's even at that dumb thing. Uh, but how Doom 1 recreated... Oh, oh, you mean to, to remake it? Woo! Oh, wow, I killed it. Spaghetti! What, what about spaghetti? I've got Penny, does that count? What?! And what is, I need like super missiles to blow that up, right? Yeah, that's that's super missiles. I think. Uh, 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 
Like a, yeah, there's like a hundred different versions of Doom 1. Uh... Oh, 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 oh. oh, no! Oh, no, 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 Get up, get up, get up. Uh, I can use normal missiles. I think it's just the wrong one. Oh, is that not the right pillar? I thought it, I could have sworn it was this one. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, for the artifact, that's what it is. Spaghetti is the best type of pasta. Pasta, pasta, pasta. Um, I will, I will see your spaghetti and raise you either fettuccine because I do prefer fettuccine, or um, uh, penne. Penne. Uh, penne and rig see penne and rigatoni are, are are very very close to me uh but if we're talking about that kind of pasta like that shape uh i prefer fettuccine spaghetti for some reason gets very cold very fast to me especially angel i don't like angel hair pasta i do not like angel hair Oh, you can't? Okay. <clears throat> I love bow ties and creamy uh, pan sauce uh, made from chicken. Um, that's amazing. Uh, and that, that actually made me kind of hungry when you said that. Um, I haven't eaten bow ties in a while. Farfalle. Schmitterling. Don't say the, don't say penne. Going this way. Oh wait, what was that? Okay. A little bit of help. Toasted ravioli. Oh, speaking of Wawa once again, uh, they used to sell uh, toasted raviolis. They were amazing. And then one day they stopped, and I wept. Linguini. Linguini's okay. I definitely prefer fettuccine more. It's it's thick. Thick. Uh, ow. Oh, penne is is Spanish for penis. Um, well, well, you know, let, let me tell you. Um, when the mood strikes, I will eat some penne. <laughs> you know, assuming I trust the other person. Nice bag of penne with some cream sauce. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh my. Mm. All right, so there's, there's a door up there that I feel like I want to try and get. Oh my God, I didn't mean, I didn't even lock onto that thing. I just fired. Mm. Penne and cream sauce with a side of Italian sausage. Now we're talking. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, I fell off the thing. <laughs> Cap Kevin Top. I like cavatappi, but I don't ever get it. Um, gemelli is good. Yeah, I do like gemelli because they're nice. Uh, uh, they're nice dense. I like a dense pasta. Uh, that's one thing that I really like. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> um, yeah, I do like a dense pasta. You know what I like that I can't eat a whole lot of, but I really love them. 
is uh, Miyaki. Uh, I love those. Oh my God, they're so good. But I realize I can't eat as much of them and, and I need them in like a soup. I like them in like something like a soup. All right, I feel like I'm, oh wait, hold on, here we go, hold on, let's see something. Okay, so I needed the space jump to get that. I'm at soup. Well then get out of the soup aisle. <laughs> I think I like that. I think I like that more than anything. Oh, 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 I almost launched right off. I don't think I've had those. Yeah, look them up. Um, let me see here. Uh, uh, oh, my God. I almost spelled that correctly. Uh, there you go. Yeah, you got it. You got, you got it. Uh, oh, my God. They're so good. They're so good. I like them in soup. Um. I like them when they because they're very thick and dense. So when they when they soak in the juice for in the soup for a long time, they're very good. Um, I do like them as a as a pasta straight up, but I can't eat as much of them as I can eat like penne or <laughs> or rigatoni or something like that. Like I can eat a giant bowl of rigatoni. Uh, the the gnocchi I can only eat uh, like a small medium sized bowl of it. Great side, great side. Pretzel, pretzels, pretzels. Uh, some of the best I've had. Ooh, oh my god. Uh, okay. Oh no, that opened up. Okay. I can't fight. <laughs> all right, you don't have to shout at me. <laughs> I I know, like we we all know what it is. It just makes me laugh so much. Oh, oh gotcha. Yaki is amazing. Made a tortilla soup that my parents love. The thing is, thing is, the rice I added to it soaks up so there's so little broth. Ah. As a Latino, I don't like the word penne either. I only know it as the pasta. I like you're collecting these artifacts and you have you have no idea what they are. You have no idea what they are. Although I guess at this point with the space jump you have actually gone into the place where they kind of explain it, right? You we've been to the ship thing with the artifacts with the monuments. We just walked out of there when we got there. It's amazing how many varieties of pasta that exist. What I'm amazed, Chill Spike, is that they're different. Um, Greg, keep saying penne. Ugh, oh, penne. Ugh. Oh. Um, what I'm amazed at is they're different. It's it's effectively the same thing, but when you eat a uh gamelli 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 uh cavatappi uh penne. Um, rigatoni, linguine, angel hair. Like when you eat them, they're different. It, it, it kind of tastes the same, but because of the the density of it, the shape of it, it sort of change. It alters like the way you eat it, and it alters the flavor of it. Like any one of them, you could put in a in a pasta sauce and like a tomato sauce, but you don't. You know, gnocchi, I, I rarely ever have in pasta sauce. It's always in a soup or something like that. Uh, uh, something like spaghetti or fettuccine, I usually have in a pasta sauce. Um, rigatoni's or penne, I have uh, in pasta sauce or I mix it in like a cheese sauce or uh, I have no sauce. I, I do no sauce and I use garlic powder and Parmesan cheese. Um bow ties very commonly i have seen bow ties in like a potato salad or like a vegetable salad or something 
I didn't ruin it for me. I'm still gonna say penne. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say penne and my mouth's gonna water every time I do it. Bendizium portion of this area is unstable. Ah, so there's an item down there. Later, Prismatic Void. Working on implementing cell shading for a potential future game project. Uh, see you all later. Have fun with your penne. Yes, I do. I do have fun with my penne. Uh, I watched a video about it earlier today. <laughs> Inadvertently, somehow I found I, I had a video. Uh, uh, I, I had a video about uh, uh, playing with my penne thrust upon me earlier. Oh! Oh! Wow! Oh! Wow! What a what a dive! Okay, let's... Oh my god, move! They take so much health! Dude, why do they take so much health? And don't give any. Ever have a lasagna sheet, but not in lasagna? Sort of. Um, I have had lasagna roll-ups which is you take the lasagna sheet uh you soak it so that it's a uh, later mr sonic <coughs> you soak it so that it's it's pliable so that it moves around and you lay it down and you put like the sauce and cheese or whatever and then you roll it up and then you cook it that way do you americans use ketchup with pie oh god no no way pasta sauce we pasta sauce and it's and we call it sauce not gravy uh, I know that's a big Italian thing where they call it gravy. We have something over here. Beef gravy over here is what we call gravy. But yeah, yeah. We use, oh yeah, no. Never use ketchup with pasta. That's ridiculous. That's like, you might, as, you might as well say, hey, would you ever use ketchup instead of tomato sauce on a pizza? Like, I think you, I think you get punched in the face. Bond Knight should mean I don't know who that is. <laughs> oh, not uh, 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 right, I'm going the right way. Okay, here we go. We're actually, we're, oh my god, we're almost getting to the Fendrana Drifts. <laughs> We've been on the road here forever. Unless the sauce is so bad, you might as well call it ketchup, at which point you just ruin perfectly good pasta sauce. See, but that's the thing. I, I've had bad pasta sauce, and it's not ketchup. And I don't like ketchup. Uh, I don't like the smell of it. But I've had pasta sauce that was like, ew, this is terrible. But it doesn't even smell like ketchup to me. I like pasta with meatballs and ketchup. Yeah, no, uh, it's, it's totally different to me. I mean, you can have whatever you want, Chill Spike. I'm not saying that you're like crazy or anything. Uh, see, and this is the same thing that happened last time. We went forever without a save point. Binging with Babish? Uh, it sounds familiar. Is it binging with Babish? I always thought it was like cooking with Babish or something. Uh, we don't cook pasta is ketchup, but with ketchup. Uh, we have a different tomato sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're odd. <laughs> well, yes. That's not new. <laughs> but I thank you for the compliment. Woo! Your love or hate isn't the issue. Eat your tomatoes. No. No. Although I did have pasta and I'm having pasta again tonight, so maybe I'll throw a little bit of a little bit of tomato tomato sauce. Uh that way. Okay. That way and then uh there. Okay. Uh I don't think I can I can't make that from here, right? Yeah, no, not yet. Boop, boop. 
Lasagna roll ups sound like uh, really tasty cigarettes. <laughs> They're good though. Oh, um, yeah, I used to make them and I haven't made one in a while. And now I really want some. And I'm sad that I don't have pasta. Uh, what's it called? It's just, that's one of those things that it's kind of a lot of work. I mean, not a lot, a lot, but. Um... Alright, am I going that way? Yeah, I'm going that way. Woo! Okay. I don't think I can get that yet. No. Binging with or basics or fabish. Uh, use the recipe for pizza dough. It was good. Wow. I've never. You know, I've never made a pizza like that. I've never made like a straight up like the dough. It, 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 you know, I've never done that. That's interesting. I maybe I should do that one day. I'll tell you what I have done is bought uh, French bread or or like big like fresh bakery rolls, split it, and then made pizza with that. That's amazing. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Hey, Mendez. Oh my god. Guess what? Animal Crossing Direct? Uh, I don't believe you. Uh, do I have a do I have a clip for that? Nah, I don't, I don't really have a clip for that. <laughs> um, do I have a clip? I don't know if I have a, do I have a clip for that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I doubt it. I doubt it. I think there should be. I was talking before. I think I was talking here about it. Um, I think if there is a direct, because we're, we're still talking about the fact that it's like the longest we've gone without a direct since directs have been a thing. Um... If there is a direct, I think that that's what it's going to be. I think it's going to be an Animal Crossing direct. Uh, what am I doing here? I feel like I, I feel like I missed something. Hold on. Oh, right there. Okay. Uh, we need a we need a Greg direct. <laughs> Where, what would the Greg Direct be? Just me like, here's what I'm going to do tomorrow. <laughs> uh, this is like, I need the, yeah, I need the plasma for this, don't I? I feel, am I, I think I'm in the wrong place. Uh... <laughs> Oh no, wait. Okay. Woo! <coughs> oh, there we go. Um, Bone Broth episode based on The Mandalorian. Uh, I'm glad there hasn't been a direct. Uh, it's sad. Whenever I see a Nintendo direct, my mind sums it up as a new Smash character announcement. Um. Hey, Greg, can you do the Iwata directly to you gesture? Which one was the, the Iwata directly to you gesture? Um, has someone filed their taxes? God, I hope not. That's a lot of personal information. Remind me what you can't say. Sagers. His name is Sage. Sage is his official name. Uh, Sagers is his uh, uh, funny name. Uh, oh, oh.
<laughs> direct deficit syndrome. Wait. Hold on. That wasn't a joke? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God. It's not. Oh, my God. Oh, ho, ho, hold on. Uh, tune in. Uh, it's February 12th. Oh, my God. At 9 a.m. Um, oh, I thought it was a joke. Uh, tune in on February 20th at 6, p 6 a.m. Pacific time, which is 9 a.m. Eastern time, uh, for a roughly 25-minute live stream Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct featuring in-depth look at... See? 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 I told you. I said it. I said it, and I'm happy that I was correct. Uh, if they were going to do a direct before Animal Crossing, they were going. It was going to be an Animal Crossing direct because they were not going to announce a bunch of new stuff that you were going to have to buy right before Animal Crossing, their biggest game. It is legit. <clears throat> yeah, I thought it was just a joke. All right, I'm happy. I'm happy. I mean, I was happy before because we're having fun streaming. But, uh, here we go. Meow. <clears throat> amiibo cards. Oh my god, yeah, we're gonna get amiibo cards. We're gonna get, no, I want amiibo e-reader cards. Oh, not amiibo e-reader cards. Um, e-reader cards. New e-reader cards. Yes. Oh, oh, I was so close. Uh, what are you looking forward to? I'm not an Animal Crossing guy, so snore. It's okay, Ryan. You can be wrong. <laughs> oh, I love me some Animal Crossing. Yeah, that's going to, and that's, that's probably what's going to annoy me the most about it, is that it, it blatantly says Animal Crossing Direct. And you're going to be people like, all they do is talk about Animal Crossing. Like, yeah, it was an Animal Crossing Direct. Sorry if people, like, there are people out there that refuse to acknowledge that Animal Crossing is a huge franchise for Nintendo. Doesn't the new Mega Man collection come out in two days, is it? Uh, I actually have an e-reader and Mario Party e, uh, uh, it's kind of awesome. Oh wait, oh my god, oh, stop. Stop, I need to, I need to scan you. There we go. Uh, vulnerable to most beam type weapons. Uh, their crystals on the back absorb energy, which they fire and prey. So you guys have poor stamina. They hyperventilate after using their breath attack, making their mouth area vulnerable. Why does it say 212? What? Huh? UAC, what do you mean? What do you mean 212? Uh, the animal, the direct that I'm looking at, the picture I'm looking at, it says 220. 220 2020. Oh, that's right. I forgot it does that. Okay. Okay, come on. Right, can't fire. Well, oh, oh, hold on. Woo! It sucks that I'll be at work. I can't, I can't, like, immediately talk about it. Woo. 
There you go. Oh my god, it's 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 easy, but it's so annoying. <clears throat> Did I get both of those? Oh, there we go. Oh, did, did, did you say uh, uh, what the Iwata uh, hand gesture, whatever it was that you were, that you wanted me to do? Did Iwata work on the animal? Uh, the hand gesture was, uh, oh, hands uh, at the side of your head uh, with the, uh, this one? Is that what you mean? Yeah, boss was less aggressive than I remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like... <laughs> oh, what? That, the Mega Man you're talking about, that's the ZX collection, right? Uh, and what do I do? Hold on. C-Stick, right? Okay, there we go, there we go. C-Stick. Oh, I don't know why it didn't work. I clicked it and it didn't work. I mean, my other controller was faulty, so maybe this one's getting bad, too. Yeah, the Zero ZX games, which is good. I never played the uh, the ZX games, which I heard they were good. The Zero and ZX games, I, I never played any of those. You know, it's not like, like the Mega Man X collection where I've played one through five, you know, so it does a couple of them that I haven't played. Uh, I've never played any of the uh, ZX games or Zero games, so that's actually kind of good. That's that, that's a worthwhile thing to to want to get and not actually get because I can't afford it because <laughs> I'm uh, skint broke, as they say in Pirates of the Caribbean. It's on the second of the twentieth month. <laughs> yes, and it'll be it'll be sixty degrees Celsius outside. <laughs> hey, X and Shadow raiding with a party of twenty. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome, welcome from Ted Stream. Uh, how is everybody doing? Uh, hopefully, you all are having a good time. One day off. Uh, hopefully everybody's having fun. Uh, we were just talking about the fact that the mm, uh, your ZX ideas collection are is coming out. To me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. Uh, what does everybody think? No persona for me. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, I very much appreciate that. Uh, what do we think of the Animal Crossing Direct? Uh, for anybody that is coming from Ted Stream and did not hear, they have announced an Animal Crossing Direct for the 20th, two days from now. Uh, which holds true, still holds true to the to the record that uh, they announce Thursday directs on the Tuesday. <laughs> uh, test prediction one. Uh, there is an APGN. Uh, Johnny said that it's not happening. Johnny said that it didn't happen. Uh, he said on Twitter that that's not happening. I'm not an Animal Crossing guy, so snore. Animal Crossing Direct announced. Yes, it has been. Uh, zero, one, and two are definitely more difficult. Three eases it back a bit. Four even further. So, so what is on that collection? What is on the um, the zero collection? It is. So there, I, I don't know how many games there are. Is there zero, one, two, three, and four? And then how many ZX games are there? Let us believe. 
Uh, Ted predicted a Nintendo Direct, but it was one day off of when it would be happening. Yeah, I figured, I figured Thursday would be a normal day, right? Uh, zero, one, two, three, four, ZX and ZXA or Advent. Okay. <clears throat> that's not bad. And how, what, is, what are they saying that's going to cost? That's not bad for four games that look good, for six games that look good, but I've never played. So that's, that's a complete set of full games spread across three Blu-ray discs. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, I came from there. Uh, can I do anything else here? Oh, I can go there. Um, uh, $35, $40. Okay, so that's not, yeah, that's not bad at all. $40 for, for six games. Yeah, that's really not bad at all. Uh, higher. Uh, ow. Ow. Okay. Both ZX games are Metroidvania. See, that's that's a good, that's a damn good value. If you're talking forty dollars for six games. Uh, so what the first four the the zero games were platformers and then the ZX games were Metroidvanias Can I tag in a Wendy's tweet go right ahead? That is a $30 for the collection on the eShop is it 40 in the store 30 on digital which is what games should be doing uh, What collection do you think has the most uh, diverse titles? Uh, diverse titles Hmm. That's that's difficult. Um, I think it's tough to find uh, diversity in that way. Uh, have a good day, everybody. Uh, later, Bert. Have a good one. Ignore Animal Crossing. Gonzalo, Ryan, play with Gonzalo. <laughs> Dude, don't give me time to think. Uh, Yeah, that's interesting. That's a that's a pretty decent question. Um, what collection would have the most diverse titles? The hell was that singing robot? <laughs> that is Gonzadasu. That is a character from Chrono Trigger. I can't see my channel points. What happened? Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that's that's a good. Um, Wow. What collection would have uh, a, that that's tough to say because there isn't a lot of variety. I mean, if you in the, within a series, you know, if you say something like Castlevania, you're going to get a bunch of Metroidvania games and then some platform games if you you know when you include the classic ones. Uh yeah, that's actually that's a pretty decent question. I don't know. I would have to really like I have to really sit down and look at everything. And try and figure out what uh, what it could be. Uh, the first Zero game was odd in that it added levels as part of interconnected overworld as you play. Oh, that's interesting. And I just grazed that. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, am I dropping down here? I think I'm dropping down here. I don't think I was supposed to drop that there. Whoops. What am I, out of missile? What the hell was that?
It, there's such a delay for shooting. Um, Blinky just creepily stared in the background. I don't trust them. I don't know. It seems trustworthy to me. Metrovania asks if I'm honest. A ZX lets you collect four different forms from bosses. Uh, Advent lets you play almost every boss. Okay. Ever consider streaming Monster Hunter World? Uh, Palico version of Sage. Uh, it may not only adorable, but he got. Um, I have streamed Monster Hunter World. I did it once or twice. Uh, I don't have the Iceborne DLC. So watching me stream Monster Hunter World would actually be super boring because I don't have the, the latest stuff. Uh, but I have streamed it before. I wanted to do it for... I, I wouldn't mind doing it for Community Day because I've had people ask me about doing it for Community Day. But uh, I know we're very limited on the people that play Monster Hunter. So I I know that we wouldn't get as much, um, as much interaction as if we did something like Mario Kart. But... Uh, yeah, I don't have the Iceboard DLC, so watching me stream that game is actually super boring. Uh, I do have Iceboard as fun. It seems fine. It seems fun. It's just I don't have it, so it's like, do you really, do you really want to watch me like grind for nothing? Like, there's no story. I'm fighting old bosses, you know. And then when people team up with me. There's no challenge for them because I'm fighting stuff. I'm level 60 something and then they're they're jumping in and they're, they're level 200 and and higher. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. Whoosh. There's an item somewhere. We'll be able to play Monster Hunter with everyone. Yeah, it's just that's that's sort of the only problem is I, I worry about the fact that not everybody, you know, that game's not as accessible to a lot of people. There's an item nearby. I hate this. Uh, how much longer are we going? Uh, another half hour. We usually go until 6 p.m. Yeah, we always go till six. Uh, when he, uh, here we go. Um, yeah, yeah, we always go till six o'clock here. Typically, we always go till six o'clock. Uh, we we off. I think yesterday we went until almost seven. Oh, you. Jerks. Hey, all time of time. Uh, does dinner start at 6? Uh, cooking starts at 6, probably. Although, I'm not going to be cooking a whole lot today. I still got some pasta. So, I'll eat some pasta. I'll make some uh, spinach and uh, uh, snap peas on the side or something. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, Cooking Mama Cook Stars coming to Switch. Um, I've never played the Cooking Mama games, and I have all three of them on the DS. <laughs> uh, and I've never played them. Uh, it says March. That's the only problem is that they, for the release date for Cooking Mama for the Switch, it says March without a date. Uh, and that's going to be dangerous because if that runs close to Animal Crossing, no one's going to buy it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't... I feel like the people who play... Uh, Cooking Mama are the people who play Animal Crossing. And Animal Crossing seems like the much more rich game. Yeah, I just I, I the Cooking Mama game I think is gonna 
if it comes out at the wrong time, it's going to get beaten to death. Um, so I feel bad about that. Ever try Samba de Amigo with the, the game of the Maracas? Yes, I did. I played it on the Dreamcast when it came out. Uh, it's very, very fun, but it loses its charm. Uh, it, it's like the Donkey Kong with the bongos. It's like Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Okay, good. As long as those stupid timers don't start, I'm okay. That's what always gets me. When once the timers start going, I'm like, I I go into a panic. Now this is gonna be a timer. Uh, later, Lady Foxheart. Uh, have a good one. Get some food. Play some Final Fantasy VI. Uh, it's been forever since I played Final Fantasy VI, so uh, play it. Uh, I'll play it vicariously through you. Oh, there goes a the timer. God damn it. Oh, what did you do? Oh, no. Beep, boop, boop, boop. You goof. Okay. What, what are you doing? Oh my god. Get up there. I'm getting hungry. That's my problem. I can feel oh my god. Uh, I can feel it in my tummy. My my rum my rum tum tummy. My tummy's getting tingly. My tummy hurts. Her, the suit. She felt dirty in the suit. There we go. Okay, come on. Uh, mine is Metroid. Uh, blue Metroid or orange Metroid? <laughs> or or gray Metroid. Uh, yeah, it's gray Metroid now. Remember, there's there's a third Metroid. Oh, and right out the poop chute. Positive have been a slow play. Anyone comment comment on the fact that the official Doom Twitter tweeted back at Nintendo? Did they really? Hold on. Did they seriously? Please tell me that actually happened. Um. Uh. Oh my God! Where is it? Hold on, where's I need I need to find I need to do a search for Doom's Twitter. Um People. I know, I know. Here, Doom. I don't know. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> uh, I I know. I'm I'm getting there. I'm right there. Don't don't, don't settle down. Settle down. Hint system. <clears throat> I see it. I go to Nintendo's tweet. It's gross. Oh, oh, it's in. Okay. Um. Hold on. Yeah, no, don't do that. Do that. Ah, oh, yes, they did. Look at it. It's right there. Will Isabel be there? Ah. <laughs> <clears throat> That's awesome. See, everybody can get along. Everybody can get along. We don't have to fight each other. I mean, because you really you don't you really don't want to get into a fight with that. Oh my god! Wow, I was almost stuck. 
Oh my god. Right there. All right. Let's do this again. <clears throat> yeah, that's adorable. <clears throat> oh, could you imagine that if Doom Guy suddenly was there for like a quick second? Oh, no, wait. I don't want to go this way. Um, I'm going this way. Uh, this way? It's always so hard for me to judge. Um, what's this? Why is that like open? Oh, this is like no power to the door. I need an x-ray scope. Yeah. I don't know if I can make that. Yes, I can. Oh, save point. There we go. Save point. Yeah, there's the one with the do with Doom guy showing uh, Isabel how to shoot. And what was his name? Didn't, didn't they say that he had an actual name, but everybody just calls him Doom guy? The th is it the thermal visor or the X-ray? The X-ray scope. Oh no, it is the thermal visor. That's right. Okay, and this way. Whoa! Hey, my missile killed it in one hit. Oh my god! Hmm, your ideas are intriguing <laughs> to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. Craft the star, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are a you are a craftosaurus. I would like to know uh, what you like to craft. Is it is it macaroni and cheese? Because that's also my favorite craft. Doom guy puts a pink battle helmet with floral decorations. Oh, it's great. With a t-shirt. He's got like one of the Animal Crossing, like the town t-shirts. Hi there, new friend. Hello. You're adorable. You locked the door behind me. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, oh, this is the, the charge one, right? They're only vulnerable to the charge weapon. Okay, get out of there. I'm in your face. Firing my laser. Is this game good? Ah, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's playable. Uh, why did I pick up that health? That's weird. Okay. Uh, this is going this way. Oh, map room. Oh, uh, later here, Harold. Have a good one. Uh huh. Since when did whales sing for a metro? Oh, since uh, since uh, uh, uh Star Trek Four. Uh, <laughs> I never played the Metro Prime series. It's a great series. It's it, there. I think 
personally, there, there are three fantastic games. I asked a question. Oh boy. <laughs> If we went to eat at like Outback, what would you get? Uh, steak, steak. I'm a steak person, uh, especially when I go out to a restaurant. I think restaurant steaks are always really good. Uh, so yeah, I'd absolutely get steak with the blooming onion. Love me, love me the blooming onion, which I really kind of want one. That sounded so obnoxious. <laughs> Oh, I figured you were doing that on purpose. Uh, uh, throwback. Throwback. What does the fox say? Uh, pay attention. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, boom. Uh -huh. uh oh, what? What? <clears throat> I whiffed it. Uh, why do I remember not liking this area? It whines. <laughs> uh, access to research lab hydro grid. Yay! Switch weapon. There you go. There's more. Cause the blackout. I hated the blackout. All right, what's that? Come on. Oh, you're up there. Um. I like the elevator for. I could have. I'm pretty sure I could have space jumped up there, or double jumped. Whoa! Wow! I, they, those those boxes weren't even red, and they exploded. for all of this. Uh, I think she's getting paid in energy tanks. <laughs> you guys are getting paid? Oh, there we go. There's, there's some red ones. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's right. I always forget that. I always miss that. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, Latimer, they're not. They're not. I'm not going to get into what it is, but it's not. Oh, that's right. You do that and it like drives it crazy. Going crazy. Yeah. Oh my God! Look at that. See you. Can I shoot you to miss him? Oh, the missus do it. <laughs> oh, I love it.
Ah, thank you for the oof. Threw me, it, it threw me a little bit. I heard it. It's like, oh, I forgot. I kind of forgot about those. No one ever plays them, so I kind of forgot about it. Uh, oh. That. <laughs> that. <laughs> Uh, Sam should really have a podcast together. <laughs> Welcome to our podcast. It's called Sammy and the Dragon. <laughs> that's their, no, uh, Sammy and the Dragon is their, that's their, uh, like their schlocky radio show. Um, yeah, that, that's their, that's their schlocky radio show where they're like, Hey, hey everybody, welcome to Samus and the Dragon. <clears throat> I'm Samus, and I'm the dragon. <clears throat> and then you've got like sound effects and stuff. <laughs> yes, uh, Ridley talks, hey, uh, did you watch that uh, Game Explained cinematic? <laughs> Uh, oh, no. uh, that's back the way I came. Whoosh. It's so, it's so atmospheric. I mean, I know we say that about Metroid all the time, but like the, the machine sort of making the noise and it's so like, oh, it's, it's kind of like, is it creepy? I don't know if something creepy is going to happen. Uh, all right, so we have to do that. Yeah, he's supposed to be. I mean, he was there, you know, he's like the leader of the space pirates and the space pirates, you know, they have language and stuff. So he's definitely, yeah, he's definitely a, a an intelligent creature. Uh, cool. Kind of spoke some alien language. Well, that's, I mean, regardless of the language, I, I think it's one of those things where everybody, you know, they speak English just because that's, you know, so that we understand it. But yeah, yeah, they're all, it, they, it speaks, he does speak a language, assuming they're speaking some form of English. Oh, okay. Oh, so this is like, I think every one of these is a scan, isn't it? Or no, no, just the red ones are the research scans. Talon 4. Uh-huh, 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 uh, I think that's the only one. I don't think there are any other, uh, red ones. If Ridley could speak, why did he break my ear? Because he was trying to distract you. That's the, that's the trick. He was trying to, he was trying to throw you off. 
You know, it's like a battle cry. Like, you're like, hey, what's going on, man? And then when you get into a fight, you're like, ah! Because you want to distract them. You get them to think that you're stupid. Uh, okay. I think that's a save point? Oh, no, this is an item or something. Oh, no, a save point. Okay, oh, thank God. Good, because we're getting close to the end of the stream. That was his battle cry. See, that's why you gotta you gotta have a good battle cry. Like 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 Oh man! A oh, Samus! I'm gonna whoop that ass! I'm gonna whoop that ass, Samus! Oh, these are like the super duper uh, needing to get ready for BSC, BCS, BSC stuff. I'll talk to you later. Later, Ryan. Have a good one. Uh, Ryan, I, I look forward to hearing your thoughts on the uh, Animal Crossing Direct on Thursday. <laughs> uh, this is powerful attack. uses five missiles. Using the power beam, press and hold A to charge five. Because oh, this is like the super missile, basically. All right, um, I don't, I don't want to get too far into uh, what we're doing here. I don't want to get too far into it because we're going to stop. Uh, we're going to stop at regular time today, uh, which I, I've been going over. Hey, Elements. Uh, so, yeah, we'll stop at regular time today. Uh, is that Samus's fifth weapon? Uh, the can of whoop ass that she always brings around. No, what I want is her ice missiles back. Uh, I like the ice missiles. Uh, uh, yeah, we're 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 gonna wrap it up in a little bit. That's okay. Though. That's okay. Um, I hope you all had fun. I I I like to believe that we had some fun. We found out that there's an Animal Crossing Direct coming, and you know that's always a fun time. We had the game lock up on us, uh, and we had to. Oh my 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 hair fixed uh, the broken game. Uh. I think we had a good time. Meow. 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 And always a good way to end the day. Oh, yeah. We, we started the first half hour was like talking about working out. Sometimes he smells it. Like he knows what he's coming up here for. But sometimes he sits there and he smells the tree. Like, I wonder what that is. Like, is that a treat? Is that something I can eat? Yes, it's something you can eat. I got it out of, the, out of the container of things that you can eat after shaking the container of things you can eat so you know that there was something to eat. <laughs> we built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. I don't know. I saw Latimer wrote that, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I can never eat and shoot my cat around. Notice me! Witness me! Mediocre! That's a great movie. I need to watch that movie again. I need to go and buy it. I only ever watched that movie because it was on cable back when I had cable. And now that I don't, I don't have access to it anymore. I need to buy that movie. Uh, that's uh, uh, Mad Max Fury Road for anybody that didn't see that movie. That's such a good movie. Uh, good baby. He mew. Yeah, I get into mew. Hey, spiders online. Absolutely, we're gonna raid. Uh, spider. Do I have spider on my on my set of channels to raid? I do not have spider on my set of channels to raid. Um, what is what is spiders? Uh, thingy. Hang on a second here. Uh, we are going to. Is it? It's. I forget if it's just spider knife or. Uh, Spider knife 88. 88. I do have them on there. 
Uh, yeah, it says he's up. Yeah, yeah. Um, notice me. Uh, yeah, Spider Knife 80. I got him up there. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody. I'm going to set up the raid uh, just so that we're almost ready to go. Um, thank you everybody for stopping in for hanging out. Uh, I very much appreciate everybody hanging out today as I uh, fumble about Metro Prime. Uh, it's been so long since I played this game. Uh, thank you for sticking sticking it out through the the crashes. We had a couple of crashes for anybody that was not here earlier. Uh, we did have a couple of crashes in the game, uh, but we're okay. My hair fixed it. Uh, <laughs> Um, tomorrow we have off, uh, tomorrow is going to be an off day, so, uh, uh, take the time to go and watch another streamer, uh, or, you know, hang out, or, you know, play some games, or do whatever. Uh, we will be back Thursday, Thursday is going to be community day, uh, most likely. Uh, it'll probably just be something like Mario Kart, I don't, I, I, I think I need at least one more game for community day. We do Smash Brothers, and I have Mario Kart now, I think we need at least one more rock solid steady game for uh community day and i but i don't know what everybody has so it's very difficult i need to do some research see if i can find something else to play um uh, maybe we'll do community day every other week and then uh the the in between weeks i'll, I'll we'll play like like shmup thursday and i'll i'll download some random shmups and because I I've been I've been hankering oh excuse me I've been having hankering to go back and play uh, I, I'm I'm looking backwards lately I'm looking backwards and I'm I'm I want to get into RPGs again I want to go back into playing uh, Persona Five I have been more interested in playing fighting games as everybody knows I've been getting more into that a little bit uh, but I have also been dipping my toe back into rhythm games. And I would like to play more shoot 'em up games, more shmup games. I was a big fan of shmups. Uh, uh, so I, I think I'm going to try and look into some of the arcade ones that I never got to play, like Dodonpachi and uh, some of the cave shooters. Uh, Persona, I love Persona. <laughs> Uh, be cool if we could find some old fighting games that could be played online. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like Steam has some games, uh, but the, I know that the the code is like bad for trying to play them, and it's always it's always kind of a big hassle. Uh, try Saint Dragon. Uh, is that a shmup? I'm guessing that's a, that's a shoot 'em up. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I don't. Know. We'll we'll figure out something to do with Thursdays. But for right now, it's gonna still be Community Day. We'll just we'll just figure out something else to play. But. I'm going to send you over to Spider Knife. Spider Knife appears to be playing uh, nothing because I'm looking at a dark screen here. Uh, it says it says Sonic the Hedgehog three, so uh, that better still be happening. Uh, but it says that they're live. Uh, who are you? What is you dumb indigo? Um, so yeah, I'm going to send everybody over there. Have a good day, everybody. Have a good night. Uh, enjoy yourselves today, tomorrow, and Thursday, and I will hopefully see you all then.